Okay, Bismillah. Okay, folks, we're looking at 3D shapes. Okay, we're looking at prisms. And we're looking at edges and vertices in this first exercise. Edges and vertices. Now, who knows what an edge is and who knows what a vertice is? Okay, explain to us what an edge is, Mr. Ali. Edges is like, not the corners, it's like the... Where two faces... Two faces meet. Meet together. Excellent. Right, uh, let's, uh, let's have a look where the edges are. So, uh, look at the shapes here. Just give me a moment while I just reduce this and share the size. Okay, let's pause this. Uh, here's your first shape, which is over here. I've just done a sketch of it. Now, we're going to look and start counting the edges. And we're going to go over the edges in pink. So, an edge is... That's an edge. That's an edge. That's an edge. Well, going on the back, inside the shape, that's an edge, that's an edge, whoops, that's an edge, and that's an edge. Where two places meet, it's an edge, oh, that one's an edge, and that one's an edge as well. So, how many edges do we have around here? We have three here, three on the back, and three around the shape. So, we have three, and three, and three edges. So, that gives the total of? Nine. Nine, I thought I had seven. Okay, from somebody. So, that gives you nine edges. Of a triangular prism. Okay? Now, Fami, can you explain to us what is a vertice? So that's a, that's three nine edges which are highlighted in pink. What is a vertice? A vertice is, is a corner where you have more than two faces meeting, yes? So we have one vertice here, one, one two, three, three, three four, six, four. So we have six. What is this? Okay, now, are we happy with what an edge of our word is? Yeah. Okay, can you do those shapes for me on that sheet I just gave you? So, volume of a prism. So, I've drawn this shape here, which looks like a whistle, and it's a three dimensional shape, so it's the same shape all the way through. It's only a sketch. What do you call the area? What do you call the shaded area at the front? What's a special name for it? Um, edge, cross, 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 cross section, cross sectional, cross sectional area. It's the area of the front. And then we have a, this part here. What's that part called? Side, side. It's called length, width, and depend, depending on what they call it. But I just, I have a, I just call it thickness. I mean, how, how wide the shape is in that same... Oh, is that in our book Yeah. So, volume of a prism is equal to the area of the cross-section. Cross-section sometimes written like this. And then we multiply that by the thickness. You, sometimes they call it exercise the length, if it's lying down or height if it's standing up. So that is the formula for volume of a prism. We will be using that formula today. Copy that down, Fami. Remember folks, when I'm writing the notes on the... You need to be writing the notes. It's not like you're not sitting there just watching it. Okay, now if I tell you that this cross-sectional area here has an area of 20 centimeters square, and I tell you that the thickness is equal to 15 centimeters. So how would you work out the volume of that shape for Fatima? You first will start off with, start off with the formula. Volume equals area of the cross-section time by the Thickness or the width or the height of the shape. Now, what is the cross section of this particular example here? What is it? 20. 20. So, under the cross section, put 20. And under the time, put times. And what is the thickness, Khadija? Uh, 15. 15. Okay, good. Now, 20 times by 15 will give us an answer of okay. Yeah? And 
Come on, folks. Do two, two times about fifteen. Make it easy. Sir. What's two times about fifteen? Thirty. Okay, three hundred. Yeah, thirty. Add another zero. Okay. I want you to find me to break it down, but you just give me the answer. So that gives you three hundred centimeters cubed. Not square. It's volume. Okay. So fifteen times by two is thirty. Add to put the zero back on. Three hundred centimeters cubed. Now. How how difficult is it to work at the volume of prism if you know the area? Not really hard. Not really hard at all. Okay, let's do some couple of examples. Okay. No, that's the back side. That's the other side. <coughs> okay, let's have another shape. <coughs> You have this shape here. Here's the cross section area of the front. Shape. What shape is that? Prism. That's a triangular prism. And what is the what's the cross section area? It is um twelve centimeters. Okay, now what is the width of the shape? We call it width, I call it thickness. The width of this shape is um I don't know. It's on the sheet. Here it is. Where's it? It's good to your hair. Oh. That's the cross sectional area. Okay. Okay, and I've lost the curses. I'm not getting the writing at all. Okay. You got the wrong color. No, no, it's not the wrong color. It's just pencil frozen. <laughs> 